I'm going to be looking at the Cotley multi capsule coffee machine. Now I'm going to open it up and uh, see what you get in the box, and then I shall be trying it out. Polystyrene on the top. And out. The coffee machine inside. It looks like that lifts straight out. That's uh, instructions there. We'll have a good read through them. Before I set it up, ready to use. And if I just move the box out the way, I'll take it straight up out the box and up there. I'm guessing. Oh yeah, for the pods. That's the same there. So, yeah, so this one will be the ground coffee. I presume this goes in one of these, not that one. Anyway, as I say, I shall have a good read through the instructions and I'll know what I'll do when I come back to test it. Plug on the back there. That's in plastic. seals to hold this down, plastic strips, take them off, back, water container there, I'll give all this a good uh, wash before I use any of it. Take them off. In here, there's like a coffee scoop. And uh, yeah, coffee scoop here. And that's it, that's everything that's in the box. As I say, what I'll do is uh, I'll have a good read through the instructions and uh, give everything a good clean and then I'll come back and try it out. I've now had a read through the instructions, I've given everything a clean and I've gone through the flush out process as per the uh, manual. I've filled it up with water again after flushing it out and I'm just about to try the first cup of coffee with it. So the filter for filtered coffee which I'm trying is the one that's in it. So, I should take that out. Get some water still in it. Flush it out. So, let's fill this with coffee. Got some ground coffee beans here, which I normally use. in there, back down on there, 
and this should go slot back in and locks in with this. And I've got a cut here, a mug, to tie it out. Let's just move that out of the way. Now I thought this was quite noisy, so I stuck a decibel meter so you can see uh, how loud it is. Um, that's on and ready, so all I've got to do now is I'm going to go for the four ounce. So four ounce button on the top. And that should then start. And we'll see what sort of job it makes of that. Now, one thing I did notice, although it's got rubber feet on it, it vibrates quite a lot. See the vibration of the cut that is actually sliding off. The oh, wicker landing is very good. Push that back again. Might be that uh, because I've got it on the cooker top, but um, it does vibrate quite a lot. That's now finished. And that's it. That seems fine, seems to have made a good cup. Now, I'll take that out, release that. I can take this back out again. And uh, there's a bit left in there that would drip through gradually, I would imagine, but that could be emptied out there and cleaned out. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep using it and uh, I shall move it to a different area and see how much the vibration affects and if the cup is still slipping on there. And then I shall come back with my full written review. I've just moved this over to a flat solid surface rather than on top of the cooker to see if the vibration is still uh, still an issue there. Now I've got a espresso capsule, so I'm going to try that. That just slots in there. that in and try that that's a uh, four mil again four, four ounce again so, that up. it may it may just be that it was on the cooker that's why it was vibrating because it's uh oh, we'll see. We'll see if it's uh, no. quick goes through it doesn't hold a massive amount of water I think it's under a litre so you have to keep filling it although you can just lift the lid and pour water in and it's fairly light you can move it fairly easily yeah that's uh, that's a lot better there no vibration and uh, it's a lot easier with the capsules uh, the coffee the coffee filter one it's uh, a bit of a pain to get out and clean when you use ground coffee because it, uh, it drops in and then you have to get this out and wash it out so it's not as simple as sort of just tapping out and rinsing a whole unit out but uh, anyway that seems to have done a good job with the capsules for sure and uh, that's easy enough to uh, remove take out and ready for the next one anyway as i say i shall uh, come back with my full written review